Hey guys, it's Lucas Ridley with digitalcreatorschool.com and I wanted to quickly uh, do a tutorial on how to fix the mouth gap using the AR kit with MetaHumans or I think it's just a general AR kit issue um, using LiveLink. And I have a tutorial about using LiveLink with MetaHumans. You can check that out. The credit for this goes to Sam from Rococo um, watching all of his streams, uh, he uh, found this out and I just wanted to make it into a shorter maybe tutorial so people can find it easier. But essentially, you need to open up the animation blueprint for the face. I'm using MetaHumans right now. So they're under the content MetaHumans common face. There's a face underscore anim BP blueprint. And the issue, let me just turn off the fix here one second. The issue that we're fixing is if I compile and I try to keep my lips together, you can see there is a gap there. And um, one way to fix that is to insert a modify curve node. So you can just hit tab in the uh, graph area and then type in modify curve. Sorry, I have my, have my cell phone connected to my chest, so it's a little hard to see the keyboard. Uh, modify curve, and I'll just recreate it here so you can see it. You can just insert this in between the uh, kind of live link pose node and the uh, AR kit mapping pose node. And then when you right click, you can scroll down and say add curve pin and you get a list for all the different kinds of curves that are available for the face. And the two that Sam recommends are the mouth shrugs. So there's one upper and one lower, and you can kind of figure out which one is best for you. I've also have used uh, jaw open um, and a combination of all of these. So what you can do, which I've already done down here, uh, let me just type in shrugs so you can see this actually works. So shrug, you see mouth shrug, lower, upper, you type that in, and then you can uh, give this a value. You can actually give this a negative value to bring the mouth shrug down, and it, you won't see this in the preview until you hit compile. So once you hit compile, now you see we fix that mouth gap issue, which is pretty nice. Um, but there's some other other times, and the reason why I maybe blended these uh, and other times I've tried this is it can be a bit much. You can see the intersection on the lips there. So you can experiment around with adding both mouth shrugs and then changing the values there and maybe even adding an, a jaw open. But that is how you fix that kind of common issue you'll find with doing Live Link. Now, I'm not using, even though I have a Rococo suit and I use that, um, I'm actually just using LiveLink right now, which is a free app you can get on um, your iPhone. You have to have an iPhone. And uh, you can go watch the other YouTube tutorial about how to connect your iPhone with that free app, with the free MetaHumans, with the free Unreal Engine. So everything is free that I'm doing right now and that you're seeing, um, except for having an iPhone. That's <laughs> a little expensive, but if you have an iPhone, um, a, a newer one that has that kind of depth sensing camera on the front, you can do this type of uh, animation. So that is pretty cool. The other thing I left out, I think in the previous tutorial about connecting these is turning on the uh, head rotation, which is just a settings in the app itself. And when you go to the gear wheel, you just check on a little thing that says, you know, stream in the head rotation. So that's how you do that. And that's how you fix the mouth gap. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about animation, working in uh, visual effects and the animation industry, I wrote a book about it, Break Into the Animation Industry. You can find it at ebook.digitalcreatorschool.com. If you want to take my other classes, learn about Maya, which is the industry standard in animation I use every day in my professional work as an animator for some of the biggest studios in the world, um, that is the program that pretty much everybody uses. So if you want to learn how to do that, and maybe in the future get hired at a studio, uh, you probably wanna learn Maya. And I have a huge course and multiple courses about teaching it. We make all kinds of cool stuff, but I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and 
Hopefully you uh, can like this video, subscribe, comment, all that kind of good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> so I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.